Hey, what's up guys? Mary Lauren 105 here with this week's video. Today um, will not be a box break. Um, actually, it will be a requested video from Instagram. Um, I actually asked, um, I posted a photo and asked uh, if you guys wanted this video and the majority of you did. So I will be making this video and uh, the video that I'm talking about is a card room tour. Um, and yeah, it's going to be a card room tour. Basically, it's just going to be kind of a room tour. A lot of people wanted me to do this, so um, here it is. Alright, so to start off, um, the giant desk, the recording desk, showing all the way around. Um, so yeah, there's the recording desk, and there is a tripod where I mount my camera. So yeah, I just mount my camera up here, and I proceed to record um, the box breaks that you guys see. Um, coming around here, I got two big lockers, as you can see, and then some locker drawers as well. Now these lockers just hold miscellaneous stuff like books and stuff for school. Um, so yeah, those are two lockers. I usually keep most of my stuff in there, as well as the locker drawers. Just kind of keep some various stuff. Um, right here is the chair um, that sits um, in front of my desk, and it is a very comfortable, very nice chair. Got my duck's towel there. Um, and yeah, it's great for breaking open boxes. I'm going to skip this part for now, because that's pretty much um, what the whole point of this video is. Uh, that little part of the room. Mirror. So, it's a giant mirror. Actually, it's the closet, but a uh, giant mirror here that runs all the way around. Right here is a shelf full of Legos. Um, this was when I was really into that stuff when I was uh, little, and I it's, I didn't really have the chance to storage up these when I kind of got sick of it, and so it's just been, it's just been sitting here for like I don't know ten years now. Um, so yeah, all that stuff is just sitting here with no use. Um, I might get the time to clear this out because it's taking up a lot of space. Um, yeah, there's my guitar right there. So yeah, get a nice close up of my guitar. Some guitar stuff that my bag and books for guitar as well. There's my stand that's all folded up. Be folded out as well. Bed, pretty straightforward. Um, right here is my hat rack. So I have four ducks hats um, currently. This rack is actually um, it's room for my ducks hats so I don't really have any more um, team hats on here. I do have more hats in the closet but um, I just don't put, about, put them up here. These are specifically four ducks hats. So my classic one, my white one, which is my favorite, the gray one, and the all orange one, another one of my favorite. Right, and so there's a little Corey Perry kind of um, little mini poster thing, hand signed by him. Um, I actually didn't meet him personally. Um, it was a family friend who gave me this. So uh, they met him personally, and yeah, they gave it uh, to me because I guess they didn't have a use for it. So pretty thankful for that. There is a Anaheim Ducks pennant up there. So that's kind of all that stuff under my headboard. Right here is a Tamu Solani poster that I got in a Ducks game. Very nice. And the rest of the wall is empty, unfortunately. Um, really hoping to get uh, more stuff, more Ducks posters and such um, to post on my wall. But, um, you know, I, use, I used to have a lot of Ducks stuff, but uh, um, room got repainted and I didn't really have time to um, put... Uh, some more posters up there, so I only have the Solani and the pennant and hats. And but I'm hoping to get some more stuff. Over here is pre this is pretty much uh, the important stuff that's going on here. It's kind of a nightstand connected to my desk. Usually my phone is um, charging here, as you see my charger, but it's downstairs at the moment. Um, so yeah, all that plug station there, which is ne right next to my bed. I don't really mind. Um, it used to become an obstruction, but you know it's not that bad. Clock. Um, remote for the fan, sometimes it gets hot at night, and my two watches, and just various stuff like that. Glasses are in there, flashlight, all the stuff that I need. It's kind of a little attached nightstand, trash can over there, and another trash can over there. Right, um, here comes pretty much the important part. Um, it's my card uh, section. Um, I, the, the whole point of this video was to show my cards. Um, but, I mean, just showing my cards, that would just be really short because it's all confined in this little cabinet. Um, I don't have boxes everywhere with cards. I 
emptied out all the boxes I had, including the shoe boxes over there. I emptied all the boxes that I had containing cards, and I just put them on this cabinet. So all my cards here, they're just they're just confined in this little cabinet right here. So they're not in boxes everywhere anymore. Um, I don't have to go digging through. I mean, I did I did organize my cards back then, but it was just. It was just a hassle going through the boxes and just kind of just filing through the boxes to look for the cards. And now with this, I could totally just, I could just open the cabinet. It's organized in sections. I could grab what I want and there you go. I have the card that I needed. Uh, this is especially good if people, you know, if I'm trading and there's a lot of cards involved. And I just know exactly where everything is because it is um, organized very, very well. And I will explain the organization process. Down here, um, on this bottom shelf, it's kind of it's kind of like the panini section. I try to get um, a l most of my panini here, but I mean that will just be um, overcrowding the shelf. As you can see, it's overcrowded already. Um, so I got most of my panini stuff in here, and some of my hobby box cards, um, like the rookie anthology and the contenders and elite um, pinnacle with a lot of base. Um, I do have some zenith from blasters and a fleer. And those are some inserts that are next to it. So yeah, just put the inserts next to those um, base stacks. So that's pretty much the Panini and Hobby um, section there. Up here, this is kind of an interesting shelf because um, this was intended to be another Panini shelf, actually. Um, but then I decided uh, that I should keep all my Panini stuff down there. This, this was a really big planning process on to where to efficiently organize my cards, and I think I did a pretty good job. But anyways, um, this was supposed to be a second Panini shelf, but then after I filled in that bottom one, that was all the Panini. And I didn't have any Panini left, so I had no idea what to do with this shelf. Um, because all the other two top ones were full. Um, I did start off with some prism cards, I put it on the top left there, and some parallels and inserts and such, and some refractors there, or prism cards as you could call them. Um, and I just kind of started with that, and I just kind of left it empty in case I did have some extra cards, so this will be kind of like an overflow shelf. Um, and indeed I did have a lot of overflow cards, as you can see. Um, starting here I do have some contenders cards from a blaster, um, some pinnacle as well, um, also from Blaster, and some inserts from that Pinnacle Blaster. And all three stacks right here, these three stacks are all my Black Diamond. Um, I think all three of them actually came from Blasters. And some inserts and Rookie Gems down there. And there is my Select Cards, and I already showed you the top section, which is all Prism. So there you go, that's kind of like the Overflow shelf, kind of the extra card shelf. that didn't really have room uh, for these top two and the bottom one. Going up here, <laughs> as you can see, there is a whole bunch of cards here. There is a lot of base. I mean, those back stacks over there, that's all base. So th this is also why I'm so excited about this um, cabinet here, because, I mean, I just have places to put my base cards, and it's glorious. I mean, <laughs> I mean, I used to have all the giant stacks of base, and I didn't know what to do with them. Um, and they're just taking too much space, but to have it in just one single space, it's absolutely amazing. I mean, you don't even know how less cluttered I feel. Um, but anyways, that's all base. I did uh, organize them by year. So this is 14, 15, 13, 14, and both of these stacks are 12, 13. This whole shelf right here is upper deck. Okay, so you have the Series 1 and Series 2 back there. You have the artifacts. And that's it. And the inserts and the young guns and other various UD rookies. And I kind of decided, I, I was deciding on putting the black diamond cards up here, but that'll just be really, really crowded shelf. So I decided to just leave that alone because since I had so many cards in this shelf uh, to start with. So yeah, that's all the base cards and artifacts and such. Those are all of my young guns and various UD rookies, as you can see, um, the young guns there. Um, push those back, and then these are inserts. Um, you can see Shining Stars, there's MVP in there, um, Hockey Heroes, stuff like that, just various inserts. Um, and I just decided to make a separate pile out of those. Now, up here, this is also another interesting shelf. Um, I was intending to put some more cards in here, 
But um, I, could, I didn't have any room because I started with score and I'm like, okay, I'll start with score. If I have room, then I'll put in some other cards and I didn't have room because I, I have so many score cards. Um, as you can see, there's a lot of base there. Those are all the gold cards right here. Right there, all the gold cards. All those team leader cards, um, gold or regular, um, because, I mean, they're pretty much just uh, technically inserts. So I just decided to uh, make a separate pile of them because I had so many. And here are just the regular um, leftover inserts like net cam, first goal, all that kind of stuff. And those are all of my hot rookies, or all my regular ones. And those are all of my gold hot rookies. So I keep them in a pile so I could easily um, get access to them. Those are all my colored cards. As you can see on the top, I have my Andre Pavlik black parallel card. And then I have four red parallels under that. And then on the very bottom, I do have a colored back card. It's a red back. I don't know if you guys see that. There you go. Um, I don't know what player that is. I can't read it. But um, yeah, that is a red back that I just decided to include there. So that's all the score um, section. Right here, um, this is pretty much where all the important stuff lives. Um, this is all my PC and all my hits. Um, so right here, uh, my custom card uh, section actually. Um, I made a separate pile of my custom cards, as you see. Uh, my National Treasures Custom, um, my favorite one by the way. Um, and here is my UD Canvas PC. I do have 18 Canvas cards um, as of now and I am hoping to really grow my Canvas PC. Those are all the autographs. Um, there is, I mean it doesn't look like a lot but it's actually a pretty big pile. It's just these cards are blocking out of the way. So pretty big pile of autographs. Those are all of my patch, relics, etc. Um, all the jerseys basically. Um, including patches as well, like I said earlier. Back here is my Ducks PC. I don't know if you can see that. There you go. My Ducks PC, and on top is my newest addition to the PC, a Count Fowler gemography autograph from Black Diamond. Um, so thank you, um, NYR um, Hockey Cards, for that trade. And then here's my Jaden Schwartz PC, which I actually just started a couple weeks ago, and I have only two cards of him, but I am hoping to grow my Jane Schwartz PC as well. And that's it guys. Those are all of the cards right there. Just a giant <laughs> glass cabinet full of my cards. I can see giant base stacks up there as well. So yeah guys that is pretty much I mean that's pretty much the tour. That's pretty much the card room tour. Um, really nothing much um, here. It's just a desk and cabinet and mirror and stuff. Um, nothing much. So there you go, another look at that cabinet, get a look at all the cards, and I will be giving you a south, oh yeah, I forgot a jacket, backpack, hooks, kind of self-explanatory. Anyway, um, here is an establishing shot, so come through the door, um, and yeah, there it is. There is the card room, and you see the cabinet, first thing you see when you walk in, here let me close this, yep, there's the cabinet. That's where all my cards live. I mean, I don't have any other place where my cards are. Um, just recently, I just confined all my cards into one space, which is really convenient. So there is the card room. I hope you guys enjoyed this little video. Something a little different, um, but it was a requested video on Instagram. And I, I mean, if you guys have videos that you want to see, if you want to, you know, request videos, definitely I'll try to make something happen. I mean, you can't just request, oh, I want a hobby box on the fly. I mean... Um, that's not going to happen. Uh, hobby boxes are supposed to be a treat that come once in a while. I mean, hobby boxes are very expensive. You have to, you know, pay for shipping, at least for, for me, because I don't have, you know, a local card shop around. I have to pay for shipping and all that. So it's, um, you know, hobby boxes are a big investment, and you can't just request um, a hobby box video on the fly. Something, you know, so, something simple like this. You know, something that I could do um, on the fly, something I could do quickly, um, and something that uh, I really, you know, it's not an investment. Um, or you can, you know, request any products like um, blaster boxes and such. So make sure you guys request some videos that you want. I will definitely try to make things happen. So I hope you guys enjoyed the card room tour. And I'll be back with next week's video. See you guys.